right, yo, welcome to the Out of Fluff podcast channel. Shit, dude, we need to go ahead and we can't wait until the next episode. We got to talk about this now at the current state before Mother's Day, All right? Before Mother's Day, we got to talk about this now. So, it's of course, it's about the rap beef. Already know, y'all probably already seen from the title of the video, 100%, this, this is about the rap beef. So started from back when I said in a podcast of Kendrick taking his time and everything and waiting the three weeks, bro dropped euphoria like two days after I made that podcast. So, I mean, damn, faster than I thought, 100%. But euphoria turned out to be a hell of a fucking banger boy, a banger. Got it on my, the moment that it hit. Like, after I listened to it, it was a like on my Spotify. It's in my likes on it. That shit was a banger. I ended up looking on TikTok. Thank you to all the people that broke down bar for bar. Crazy, because that man went off. That man hit the, <laughs> he hit the DMX. I hate the way you walk. I hate the way you look. I hate the way you dance. I hate the way your beard tickles your nose. I hate the way your toes just twinkle and shit. Like, bro, that man hated everything about Drake. This this is how we knew at this point in, that Kendrick really hates Drake. Like, bro, that shit is crazy. And everybody was going off. And then, of course, the Drake stands try to downplay it, saying, oh, it's not that good, or Drake hasn't hit the red button yet. The red button hasn't been hit yet. That's how I fucking think all of them talk, dude. They're weird. <laughs> Bro, the Drake stands are weird people now to me. Um, Then fucking later on, I think it was Euphoria came out, I think it was either Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday, something like that. And then next thing on Friday, woke up in the morning. I was taking a shit. Next thing you know, I see boom, 616 in LA. Drunk. I personally, like before, uh, n- uh, not like us came out. I thought this was the best one out of all of them. Because that shit went hard. Boy, that shit was crazy. So, I'm not going to play any of the songs because I think a lot of people are just being like going through and killing the songs anyways. I don't want to keep killing the songs. Just know that song went hard. If you haven't heard it, um, go ahead and listen to it. I know it's not on Spotify at the moment of Today, May 10th. God damn, I was about to say February, May 10th. Just know it's not on there yet. That's a crazy, but honestly, it makes sense. That's a hell of a sample that he used for 616. So it is probably going to have to take some time to get cleared before it actually gets on the fucking uh, platforms. Um, then after that, 616 came out on that day. Later on that day. Drake dropped Family Matters. Um, the video it played through the video and everything. The Good Kid, Mad City vehicle basically got like completely crushed, destroyed, everything like that. And he went through. He talked about how Kendrick's like baby mama. It, he's like taking care of a kid that's basically not his kid. It's actually day free. Bees. And uh, and that he's also uh, beating uh, Whitney, basically. Basically, those are the main two. My problem is I don't know why Drake decided that he wanted to throw shots at other people. It's like he was hoping that people would keep coming in, and it's like flooding it to where it makes it seem like all these people are against them. That he's going against everybody and stuff like that. Like, I don't, he brought back up Rick Ross. He brought up ASAP. He brought up, um, 
Lil Wayne called Lil Wayne a lame. He called your mentor and who made you a lame. Fucking idiot. Uh, <laughs> and then he he was just bringing up like other people, and like midway through the song, so I wasn't a fan of it. Also, um, how do I put it? It doesn't feel like it's a Drake song. And now I know Drake stands are going to be, what do you mean is Drake and blah, blah, blah. Drake doesn't really rap like that. Like the flow and everything that he was going on, that did not sound like Drake at all. That was crazy. I feel like I'm missing a song. No, never mind. Taylor Made was the one with uh, AI. I think I already talked about that on the podcast. I was tripping. But yeah, no, dude. Uh, don't. If, if you're at the point now where it's, it's one-on-one, this is direct. Like, Rick Ross already gave you your time, extended it, basically. And uh, having all these other people, having, of course, you know, your lube, your lube man, fucking AK. DJ Academics over there fucking hyping your shit up and everything. But that shit did not work out. And Family Matters dropped. That shit was fucking eh. Then after that, I think it was like an hour or two later, didn't even let that shit breathe. Drop Meet the Grams. And I was like, oof. Damn. Meet the Grams has to be one of the most... It, no, not has to be. It is the most disrespectful diss song that has ever landed on this planet so far. Any other diss in this world doesn't compare to what the fuck he did. This man decided to... Say a verse talking to his son. Said a verse talking to his mother. Said a verse talking to his daughter, which is question marks until that is proven. Either one, it is question mark. Then talking to Drake. Boy. Said to his son, hit me up when you 18. And I'll be your mentor. So hit me up basically later on where I don't have to pay child support and I'll be your dad. That's basically what you said. Then talk to Sandra and also Dennis as well. This is the mother and the father. Basically told them, y'all are horrible parents. Y'all raised a horrible being. Like, how the fuck do y'all look like? Look at him walking around, touching, touching girls and shit, touching little kids. Then went over, talked to about the alleged daughter who's supposed to be 11 years old. Granted, this hasn't been proven yet. And honestly, we will probably never know because if it is something that Drake wants to keep in the dark and it may end up destroying his career and stuff, UMG aka universals basically will help that man out so that's going to stay in the dark so we will never know if this is true or false honestly until that kid comes out saying i am drake's daughter then it went over into him talking to drake saying that about a feature Probably a first person shooter. He probably rejected that shit. Then also talking about like all this other shit. Crazy. That was Meet the Grams. Now, a lot of people think that that shit is fucking what? Like, oh, this shit too dark or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, this is a rap beat. There is nothing that's like crossing the lines of too disrespectful. Like, come on now. Let's let's be honest here. Like, 
That shit, that shit is wild to think that. This is a rat beef. If this is your first rat beef ever seen, just know that this is probably the most, this is the craziest rat beef. All right? This shit is wild. They're calling it more of like a rap war instead of beef. But just know fundamentals still stay in play. It's all about being disrespectful. Then it's all about wordplay. It's all about views and who's basically outshining like the other. Those are the steps of rap. So now after meet the Grams, then later on, which is the real hitter, is Kendrick drop not like us. Kendrick made a fucking bop dissing Drake, calling him a pedophile. Crazy. Hitting it to where it's basically song. This is about to be song of the year. Honestly, 100%. This is song of the year. People are saying song of the summer. Like, no, this is song of the year. The song was just that good, right? Just that good. You've already heard it before. People have been playing it on their TikToks all the time. So none of y'all can't really say that you haven't heard it because it's crazy. You've heard it and it's a rat beef. <laughs> it's all it's all because of rat beef and Kendrick saying that Drake is a pedophile. Crazy, bro. And then sadly, Drake came out with uh what what was it called? He he came out with some other diss and that you can tell that it was actually him that made that diss. No, the heart part six. He came out with a heart part six. I'm not going into details about like the names and stuff, just know it's the heart part six. And then he's basically saying, nah, -uh. I'm no predator. I'm no pedophile. No, I'm not. Then saying the lines of. What the fuck did he say? He said something that was just so stupid. It's like, why would you say that? He's saying. I'm basically he's, he said, I'm basically too rich. To be a pedophile. But then it also brings up Epstein. For some reason brings up Millie Brown. It's like he's snitching on himself. At this point. And then going to say at the end of the song. Like oh I know that you have. Uh, about 10 more songs. Blah 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 man. I'm just over this shit. And it just basically bows out. He basically trying to. He's trying to get out. He did a horrible way of trying to get out. But. Now nah, he's he's basically gonna have to make that up. <clears throat> but honestly, at this point now, all that's happened. Um, I don't I don't think this beef is done. A lot of people are saying Kendrick is the winner, which of course yes he is winning. I don't think Drake is going to be able to do anything to win this. But I do see Drake actually coming up with a song for Mother's Day. And it's going to be a song that's probably going to be directed towards Whitney, honestly. So I can see that happening. And then plus, uh, this Mother's Day is supposed to be also uh, Whitney's birthday, which Whitney is Kendrick Lamar's uh, fiance. So that could happen. Uh, we're going to see how that plays out. If Drake just be himself, like his old Drake and stuff like that, then it should work out better because the last song that he did put out was actually sounding more like Drake compared to Family Matters. I'm not a, I don't like Family Matters because that doesn't sound like him. It, it doesn't sound good. This isn't about you being tough. This is about you being disrespectful. Like there's there's two different there's two different meanings of that and people get them mixed up. So, yeah, 
crazy though, bro. Crazy. But now, if Drake just if Drake drops something for Whitney's like uh for Whitney's birthday slash Mother's Day, just know that Pusha T is coming in because I can guarantee Pusha T and Kendrick are probably making a song right now. So or they probably already have a song done right now. So honestly, with this rap beef, we should be seeing. I would say we should be seeing two more songs. I, I think two more songs are going to pop up. One from both of them. That's just my little prediction. But y'all let me know what y'all think is going to happen next. If y'all think this is just over or or what. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. And then also, let me know how y'all think about having more, like, just little segments like this to where I'm just talking on little segments and I don't put it in, like, the podcast. Just know I'm gonna be doing like more little videos like this. Um, I'm gonna bring a segment that I was doing on my other channel called Buff the Fluff. I kind of stopped doing that channel because um I don't want to do anything on that channel anymore. So I'm bringing my tearless videos from that channel over to here. But I'm not gonna repost any videos. But just know I'm gonna start doing tearless videos now. But I used to do them before. So yeah. Mm. So just know I'm gonna have more things on this channel. Probably more shorts, more different videos instead of just having the monthly podcast and it's making it to where it's like it's the the channel just kind of looks bland. I wanna have like more into the channel. But yeah. Thank you again for all y'all that have stayed here for the 17 minutes and have just listen to me basically rant about news and shit. I'm going to try to figure out how to fucking make this more entertaining or probably just put it in random sounds or whatever. A little bit too high. But thank you again, y'all. Stay blessed. Peace.